I feel terrible. Don't, okay? These things happen all the time. Losing a camera in an anus during a colonoscopy happens all the time. Watch the news, man. It's more than you think. Well, now I have to get him to agree to undergo another colonoscopy to get it out. You think of what I'm thinking? Good duck, bad duck? Yeah. Let's hit it. Hi, Mr. Levine. Okay. This is my colleague, Dr. Rosenbaum. How are you holding up? I've been better. Not every day you get your ass played with. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is a fucking game? Uh, no. No, definitely not. I, I was just trying to, uh... So, uh, am I all good? Mm, I don't know, tough guy. You tell us. S excuse me? I I'm sure it's fine. It's just... Some of our tests came back inconclusive, so we need to run them again. You need to give me a second colonoscopy? You keep talking like that, we're gonna give you a third. Okay? Yeah. Are we sure about this? I feel like he's a good guy and he'll understand. Oh, yeah, no, he'll understand that he's gonna be a millionaire whenever he sues his hospital for malpractice. Okay, it's working. <laughs> okay, look, he's practically shitting his pants. A little bit more, he might even shut out the camera. Right? Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, three, all right, let's go. Sorry about that. Um, we just need you to sign right here, indicating you give consent to undergo another procedure, and we'll have you out of here in no time. Uh, I don't have time to undergo another procedure. Mr. Levine, Mr. Levine! Have you always been a liar? I'm not a liar. Really? Because I'm pretty sure that we asked you to maintain a low fiber, clear liquid diet for three days leading up to the operation. Am I right or am I right? Uh, I, I did. Did you? Yeah. Because uh, your piss says otherwise. Okay, okay, fine. I, I, I had coffee two days ago. Is it really that bad? Should I be worried? There is no need to worry just yet. No need to worry. Could be cancer, though. Cancer? Oh, my God. Or it could be absolutely nothing. That's why we need to run the test again. He's right. You know, could be polio. Polio? Rectal polio. The bad one. So I think maybe I'd like to speak to another doctor. Blow us off one more time, and I'll have you talking to God, brother. I'll have you talking to God. So I gotta go. Oh, I, go. I, I need... What are you doing, brother? Let this get out of your ass! This is the third patient this month to die from a non-life-threatening procedure. Yeah. Sure, but I mean, in our defense, it was of natural causes. So, right. You strangled him. Which was my natural reaction to him being difficult. Well, now the family is threatening to sue. The lawyers are waiting outside. I'm nervous. I really don't want to botch this. Hey, this is going to be an open and shut case. But if you want, we could always... Good lawyer, bad lawyer. Let's do this. All right, that's why listen up. I am froze up when I'm alone. Inside out, I might explode. The baby, the baby, you already know. Eating on some of them Frito Lays. You a bitch if you don't. I am the one like Neo, A, So me and my boys gon' be okay. I got your chick on me all day. As I count my chips like Frito Lay. I am the one like Neo, A, So me and my boys gon' be okay. I got your chick on me all day. As I count my chips like Frito Lay. Yes, I am the one like Neo. You a jackass like Steve O. Don't miss a shot like Shaq at the free throw. Or you gonna get stitched up? No Lilo. I ain't got time for the problems. Raw dog in a dime, no condoms. Cause her dress already latex. She lean back like she doing. The matrix because I am the one like Neo, a so me and my boys gonna be okay. I got your chick on me all day as I count my chips like Frito Lay. Yes, I am the one like Neo, a so me and my boys gonna be okay. I got your chick on me all day as I count my chips like Frito Lay. They got a problem with me, so I stay strapped up like I'm Clyde and Bonnie. Yeah, she got a fat ass, so I want it on me. Bitch, you ain't my. Um, huh. We were hoping for something that a little more accurately represents the brand. I mean, I did say Frito-Lay's like four times. Y'all want me to play it back? Uh, no, we heard it. 
Um, but we were looking for something more like the snack that smiles back and uh, less like raw dog in a dime, no condom. Mm, mm. Just. Um, I mean, we could change the lyrics for you. Uh. 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 I ain't got time for the product. No time. When I'm dogging your girl, I need a condom. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, it wasn't really the unprotected sex element that was the problem. Oh, yeah, my man. I knew he was a player. No. It's just kind of, uh, I mean, it was. it's the guns, it's the booty, um, it's the gang, it feels like there were gang signs in there? Yeah, there were gang signs, and we appreciate that. I'm glad you, I'm glad you caught all those. I, I just think we might have to go in a different direction for this. Yes. I bet, I mean, we got a dope ass trap jingle for Pringles anyway, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we out. You a jackass like Steve-O, get your Stop. name. It's a catchy song. I am the one like Neo, ay. This is one of the best experiences of my life, Rose. I'll never forget you. I won't forget you either, Jack. I promise. Goodbye, Rose. Jack, no, hold on, what are you doing? <laughs> I think I saw another raft back there. As I lie on it, I'm gonna think only of you and us. Bye, Rose. Jack, seriously. <sighs> There's plenty of room. As delightful as that sounds, I, uh, I kick in my sleep, so. Jack, Jack, stop. You're, don't make me laugh. You're being silly, okay? Now get up on here so we can hold each other until we get rescued. And then we'll be together forever. I love you. And I love... How dope you are! I'm just not looking for anything serious right now, so... It's not you, it's me. Are you kidding me? Alright, look, so when I won those tickets in that poker game, I was like, dope, I love cruises. And then I met you, yeah. Rich baddie. Then you started getting like clingy. I, I thought we were having a great time. We did. Don't get me wrong. When you let me paint you like one of my French girls, <sighs> that was hot as shit. Yeah. My French girls don't even let me do that. My wife either. You have a wife? I mean, yes, and. No. What is the yes part and what is the no part? Yes, I have a wife and I didn't want you to know that. You're a pig! Probably would have left her already, but it gets complicated with kids involved, so. You have a child? Children? That's not the point. Okay, whatever. Great, you're an asswipe, okay? But, um, we still have to get to safety. So here, take this rope. Um, come on. See, this is what I'm talking about. You're always trying to tie me down. Oh my god. I already wasn't feeling it, and then last night you started snoring loudly. Major Eck, by the way. So, so I did what I had to do. What do you mean? Do what? There he is! That's the bastard that said I can't take it anymore and steered the ship right into an iceberg! You did what? Allegedly. You sank the ship because I gave you the ick? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my I cannot believe that I fell for the dreamy-eyed deadbeat fuckboy. Um, you know what, Jack? I really thought you were gonna be different um, than all the other rich assholes. I really did, except you're not. You are exactly the same, except you're poor. Ew. Jack. I'm frozen. You cannot freeze that fast. Yes, you can. You're that guy. That guy is not talking. I'm floating away. Goodbye, Rose. Are you paddling away right now? Oh no. I'm drowning. Okay, whatever. I hope you die. Drowning for real. Mm hmm. I'm going down. Jack, I can still see you. Warning. Asteroid collision. Pod 
four, compromised. Pod one, secure. Pod two, secure. Pod three, secure. Emergency ejection initiated. What? Ava, time to voyage completion. You will arrive in 30 years, 26 days, 14 Okay, Ava, shut up. For the next 30 years, 26 days, and 14 minutes, Captain Preston was indeed all alone. By the time his ship had reached its destination, the remaining crew awoke to find the ship completely covered in ejaculate, and a very senile captain who hadn't spoken to another person in quite literally a lifetime. Captain Preston now works at the first Whole Foods on Mars in the produce section. He was never able to come back to Earth. Get it? All right, class, listen up, settle down, everyone. Today we have a very special guest. Mr. Luther is going to speak to us all about the perils of drug use and how it will ruin your life. Mr. Luther. What's up? <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, right, just give me a second, I'll see you later, okay? okay. Believe it or not, kids, Mr. Luther used to be a former student of mine. That's right, Mrs. P. I used to be just like y'all. Sitting at my desk every day wondering why I'm getting boners when Miss P isn't even that hot. And then one day, start hanging out with the cool, hot varsity cheerleaders. And before you know it, the quarterback of the football team is asking you to smoke a joint at the senior rager. But you don't smoke. What do you do? What do you do? Go Bulldogs! Go Bulldogs! You smoke that shit! Uh, which led Mr. Luther down the wrong path? Absolutely, Mrs. P. Wasn't always lollipops and hand jobs under the bleachers. Sometimes the hand jobs were in cars or in Mrs. P's classroom while she was in the teacher's lounge. Wait, what? Drugs make you spiral. Soon I'm dealing drugs, hard drugs, to scary motherfuckers. Also college students, celebrities, rich people looking for a good time. That's how I met Pitbull. Dolly. Dolly indeed. Yeah, but there must have been some downsides, right? For sure. I, I was always paranoid. I mean, how could you not be paranoid Moving millions of dollars from beach house to beach house in foreign countries. You don't want this life, ass wipes, all right? I'm, I was out of control. Much like my boners were when I was your age. They don't teach you this stuff. You just gotta learn it out there in the mean streets. That's right, and there's no better institution for learning than school. She's right. Mrs. P may not be hot, but she is right. It all comes crashing down. One day, you realize the hot chick in a bikini you're shooting guns with off the coast of Majorca on your boat is actually undercover. I couldn't just pay off the cops like the first three times. Yeah, I got locked up for real. And who are your friends then? Criminals. Criminals. And then one day, you're out on the yard playing basketball. One of the lifers comes up to you and he says he found a hole in your case. That if you start giving community speeches about the perils of drug use, you can get out early. And soon enough, you're walking from the clink to your old school, thinking about how you're gonna open up a strip joint with the bricks of cash that you buried in Ma's backyard. And just as you remember you actually blew all that money on a ketamine bender a few years back with Pitbull, boom, dramatic turn of fate. Your high school sweetheart pulls up in a McLaren. She wanted in the divorce. She asks if you need a ride. You guys start getting handsy on the way to school, touching each okay, other, oh, oh, rubbing okay, up. Okay, okay, Mr. Luther, I think that's, that's a little bit much. Well, I'm glad the kids got to hear it. Mm -hmm. Remember kids, what goes up must come down. 
Much like the booties at the strip joint I'm about to. Okay, okay, uh, oh. okay, okay, okay. That's enough. Uh, let's thank Mr. Luther for his time today. Namaste. I'll miss you guys! No, I won't. They got a problem with me, so I stay strapped up like I'm Clyde and Barney. Yeah, she got a fat ass, so I want it on me. Bitch, you ain't my girl, you was just my shawty. If you wanna speak up, better say it properly. Two tone APs, breaking bags, Versace. Trying to hop on this dick, I just want you to top me. Skirt off in a vet with a Uzi, no Tommy. Tommy, saw me, white outline his body. Fuck on your girl, yeah, she wet as Dasani. Yeah, she trying to.